that technology for some period of time. But most recently with the pandemic, we've looked at ways we can answer that call and the need if it's there. It started with coming up with a temperature measurement system uh, for fever scanning and so forth. We've worked with uh, Major League Baseball and football teams on that. And then that led to going onward and continuing that process uh, with the viral worn product. So in actuality, the, the first viral worn product was tested in India over seven months ago and then accelerated with the Delta variant, which started really at ground zero in India. Uh, and that gave us a great test ground to test with people over in India. When the US actually was waning, it, it, uh, we were able to accelerate it in India during that time. And what did you find in testing this product? Well, we found that the, it, was, it was easy to use, it was simple. Uh, we, we actually tested it. We, we gave it out to hundreds of homes, uh, some of which we knew had COVID for good tests and some of which obviously didn't uh, to accelerate that test. Uh, and what we found uh, that people liked about it was it extremely simple to use. Uh, it, it is a plug-in product. Uh, and I think the biggest thing they liked about it is they knew right away. There was no waiting in line for a test and waiting for the results and all that uh, anticipation and, and frenzy that goes with waiting for test results. So how do you really test this data? Because to the skeptics out there, they might look at this and say, well, you put this device in the house. Like, how do I really know that the virus is exactly. here? Exactly. No, it's a great, a great point. Uh, what we've done in India is, is we are, first of all, we tested it in one, one national laboratory where they aerosoled the, uh, the virus itself. And one of the one of the problems is that it's not like every lab has access to COVID, uh, to the virus itself. Uh, so in addition, we have our own biology lab in India, we started with, uh, where we can actually inject it. We don't have access to COVID, but we have access to influenza virus, which is of the same protein spike virus family. Right. So in addition, uh, we are also testing it now at the Tropical School of Medicine in India, and we have two labs engaged in, in testing, which will be concluded later this month in the U.S. Uh, those are authorized labs with COVID, and, and they will have those results published. Do you know any preliminary results at this point? Well, the ones, all the ones we've done so far have been the test results are, are within 70 to 80 percent, which is about the same as getting a PCR test with test results there. And you say 70 to 80 percent effective in detecting that virus is that correct yes yes uh the and, and we have lots of software to pick that up pick up some of the the variants uh would pick up the the flaws in that usually it is affected by air quality the air quality in the united states is actually particularly good and india is not particularly good uh, so we we are hoping for even better results uh, and we're constantly improving the product well, and such an interesting product. Let's talk about how does it work when somebody puts it in their home, puts it in their business, their school. Tell me exactly how this operates. Well, how it operates is a relatively simple principle it is that we have a specialized media inside the actual unit, uh, which can sit on a conference room table. It can plug into the wall, it can sit in classrooms, anywhere else. And the typically in a room, and it's aimed for rooms, that air circulation is usually one to two exchanges an hour where the air circulation is going anyway. This also has an internal fan in it that is pulling the air in, but it's also relying on the air turnover in the room. As it is pulled in there, it hits the specialized media. The virus itself, the spike protein, actually sends a signal and changes the media so that immediately we pick that up with software and we know that there's a virus in the room. It's done instantaneously. Uh, typically in most rooms, it will pick that up within three to four minutes in a room. What excites you most about this product? Well, what excites me most is that we're finally getting to introduce it because we've been working on it for a while. And the need is, is so huge, uh, especially with people now returning to school 
people returning to the office. Uh, and there's still a lot of really concerned people. And, and we're hoping that this, this can answer some of those needs that are out in the marketplace. Do you feel like this is coming at the right time when we have the surge in the Delta variant? Well, for, from my perspective, I would have preferred to have it come out a lot earlier because obviously we've been going through this crisis for some period of time. But in that we, we tested it in India with Delta, we always knew that Delta would hit the United States. And we predicted that right around now would be the, the surge in the United States based on everything. Uh, people returning to normal activities, accelerating their social interactions and so forth. So the, the, the Delta spike was anticipated. We knew that it would hit in the August, September timeframe, which is when schools are, are reopening and things like that. So it's it's an excellent time to, to launch the product. Uh, obviously there's Lambda be, behind that in terms of variants. Uh, there's another one come, that they've called Doomsday. Uh, so any of those variants have the same characteristics and, and then any variant can be picked up by this device. And also you mentioned the reopening of schools and businesses. Places are you know, still trying to reopen at this time and schools are trying right. to reopen. So do you find that this is also a critical moment for these businesses and schools that are trying to get things back to normal? I think the schools are all supposed to have what is called a return to school plan where they're increasing their level of, of security for people. They're increasing their level of cleaning. They're increasing, increasing the level of purification of the room. So this is the perfect situation for them to just add that to their their bag of tricks there that they're trying to put into a room and increase that level of security and the feeling of safety for, for people as they return. Obviously with students, uh, the students in most cases uh, cannot be vaccinated at this point. Uh, and still, I, I think the White House announced today that that we've finally reached the 50% level of two, that, of two shots with most people in, in the country, but that leaves another 50% that are uh, not vaccinated, uh, that those children are going home to, and they're bringing it in. Teachers, in many cases, uh, are vaccinated, but you have many immune uh, compromised uh, teachers, and with immune compromised uh, patients, basically, the vaccines are about 50% as effective as with most of us that are not immune camp compromised. So for those that do want it in their own home, you said that that will be available at some point? Yes, uh, the, that model uh, will be coming out. It, it's a secondary release on this. Uh, the first ones we're aiming at, at the, the business market to some degree because of the return to school and return to uh, office situations that are out there. The one for the home uh, is designed once again to be a very simple plug-in, a little smaller yet, uh, so that, for example, if someone's coming home at night, it's, it's, it might be in their family room, uh, they can circulate around, they'll, they'll, it will give you an instant result, you'll know if you were exposed that day and then you can go for additional testing and, and the like. Uh, so our, our hope is, is to introduce uh, or to have it uh, available uh, well before the CES show, which is the, the planned launch date for that product, which is in Las Vegas, I believe, in early January. Any last takeaways that you want the public to know about this product and why you find it important? I think that the main thing is, is to give confidence to people as they're returning. Uh, there are already rumors of, of uh, additional mass uh, returns that uh, some of which have already implemented. Uh, people are very concerned about return to office. There's a lot of resistance there and school teachers uh, rightfully so are concerned. So I, I think this is just part of an overall strategy. Uh, what we have found uh, increasingly is that the, uh, this, these viruses and variants are accelerated by just speaking and, and talking to people and it's all by airborne. Uh, most of us have been very diligent in the last year on, on surface contacts and washing our hands and sanitizing. Uh, but what we've really found now is that most of it is through the particles that are just spread face to face. And so this this is designed to give the people that that uh, additional safety. Uh, and you know, we hope that people can take advantage of it. And, and we've we've worked on the technology to bring it in at a price point that can be affordable for everybody. 
Well, Conrad Bessemer, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me and I look forward to seeing more on this product. Thank you, Stephanie. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much.